رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله condemnation of the extremists Sayyid Sultan al-Wazin Shirazi, you Shias went to extreme during the history of Islam and this is clear from different factions of yours in Shism, isn't it? We reject those whose beliefs are contrary to ours, like the Sabaiya, the Khitabiya, the Garabiya, the Alawiya, the Muhammasa, the Baziqiya, the Nusayriya, who are scattered throughout Iran Mosul and Syria. We Shias are distinct from them and consider them infidels. In all the books written by Shia ulama and legal scholars, the Qalis, extremists, are included among the disbelievers since their belief is against the tenets of Shiism. For instance, they argue that, since the infusion of the soul into a material body is possible, as Gabriel could appear before the Holy Prophet, it was Allah's will that His Holy Self appear in human form in Ali's body. For this reason, they consider the position of Ali higher than that of the Prophet. Such a faction emerged during Ali's own time. Some people of India and the Sudan came to him and professed that he was Allah. Ali repeatedly forbade them to hold this view, but to no effect. Finally, as is recorded in many histories, Ali ordered them to be killed in wells of smoke. The details of this case have been given in Baharul Anwar, Volume 7, by the great Alim, Agha Muhammad Bagr Majlisi. The commander of the faithful and other Imams bitterly condemned such people. Ali said, O oh Allah, I scorn the group of the Qalis, extremists, just as Jesus scorned the Christians. May you forsake them forever. On another occasion, he said, there are two groups who will suffer humiliating death, and I am not responsible for them, since I disdain their deeds. Those who exceed the lawful limits of love for me and are extremists, and those who, for no reason whatsoever, are hostile to me. I hate those who extol my position beyond its proper limit, just as Christ hated the Christians. The Shias condemn those who praise Ali and his Ahlul Bayt beyond the limit ordained by Allah and the Prophet. Our ulama have unanimously held that they are all disbelievers. It is not permitted to attend their funerals or to marry them. They are also deprived of inheriting Muslim property. Charity and religious taxes may not be given to them. The Holy Quran in Surah Al-Ma'idah verse 80 condemns them in these words. Say, O followers of the book, be not immoderate in your religion, and do not follow the low desires of people who went astray before and led many astray and went astray from the right path. شما با اینکه میگویید ما درباره امامان خود قلوب نمی کنیم ولی در حرف هایتان مکررن قلوب می کنید. هر باری که نام امامانتان را می برید عوض آن که بگویید رضی الله عنهم می فرمایید صلی الله علیه و آله و سلم و این خلاف نص سریح قرآن است که می‌فرماید ان الله و ملائکته یصلون علی النبی You have all along said that you do not unduly praise your imams you regard the qulat as contemptible and fit for hell but you use inappropriate expressions regarding your imams you have said blessings of Allah be upon them although you know that according to the holy Quran this expression is reserved only for the Holy Prophet. The Quran in Surah Al-Ahzab, verse 56 says, Surely Allah and His angels bless the Prophet. O you who believe, call for divine blessings on him and salute him with a salutation. Your practice clearly violates the injunction of the Holy Quran. Your expression is an innovation. This verse does not forbid us to bless any other person. We are enjoined to bless the Prophet. In another verse of the Holy Quran, Allah says, Peace be upon the people of Yasin, a reference to the descendants of the Prophet. As for the other Prophets of Allah, 
blessings have not been given to their descendants anywhere in the Holy Qur'an. Blessings have been given only to the prophets of Allah. In Surahs as safat verses 79, 109, and 120, we have respectively, Peace and salutation to Noah among the nations. Peace and salutation to Abraham. Peace and salutation to Moses and Aaron. What do Shia mean by addressing the Prophet as Yasin? All commentators and scholars of your own sect admit that Allah has addressed the Prophet as Yasin. Hence, Ali, the people of Yasin, mean the people of Muhammad. Among others, Ibn Hajar Makki, a very intolerant Sunni scholar, says in Sawa'iq Muhriqa, under the verses quoted in commendation of the Ahlul Bayt, that a group of commentators quoted Ibn Abbas as saying that Ali Yasin means Ali Muhammad. Therefore, Salam, the greeting of peace for Ali Yasin, means Salam for Ali Muhammad. Imam Fakhruddin Razi writes, The Ahlul Bayt of the Prophet are equal to him in five matters. 1. The Salam. 2. The Salawat, blessings. 3. Purity. 4. Unlawfulness of charity. 5. Love. To pray for divine blessings for the Ahlul Bayt is the Sunnah, commendable practice, and a mode of worship which was performed by the Holy Prophet himself. We are proud to do what the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet have enjoined us to do.